Are you ready, Monarch fans? It's time for the Old Dominion Football Show with Bruce Rader and Coach Bobby Wilder, sponsored by Town Bank. To win. After playing four of their last six games on the road, the Monarchs return to the friendly confines of SB Valor Stadium this week, looking forward to playing four of their next five games in Norfolk. It's a perfect opportunity to get back in the win column because, as we all know, there's no place like home. I'm Bruce Rander along with Coach Bobby Wilder as he prepares his Monarchs for a game Saturday against an always good Marshall mm -hmm. team that has already taken out Miami, Ohio, mm -hmm. Eastern Kentucky, and Western Kentucky. Yeah, they're three and two right now. Bruce got a loss to North Carolina State, which you would expect. NC State's a good team, and they lost, got, I think, upset at home. Um, this past weekend. Now, three and two, Bruce, one and one in the league. The thing you and I always know about Marshall is they're going to be tough, they're going to be physical, really good defense, they're fast on defense. We're going to have to play well on offense to produce points and not sure about the quarterback situation right now. They've played a couple of different quarterbacks, but we expect a good football team to be here Saturday. Now, the last time you played at home, what mm. happened? Uh, oh, yeah, you beat the Hokies. <laughs> How about that? You know, it has to be nice knowing yeah. that you don't have to go out on mm. Friday and hop on an airplane and fly somewhere. It feels so good to have this stretch coming up. You just mentioned in your intro for the next five at home. When you start like we did on the road, as much as we did for the first six, the travel, the weather, everything that happened, it feels really good to be back home. And we've played well at home this year, Bruce. Even the, the Florida International game, Florida International's a good football team. We jumped them early, had the two-hour delay at halftime. And then the Virginia Tech game, how inspired we were. So I hope we have a good crowd there. I hope they're excited because we're excited to be back home. And you truly believe that a big part of you all beating Virginia Tech was the fact that you played that game at SB Ballard Stadium. Oh, I don't think there's any question, Bruce, that that was the inspiration behind it. How inspiring our fans were, the crowd. As you know, that crowd was split at the start of it. Once it got to about halftime, it really changed and it helped motivate our players with young people, Bruce, getting that type of inspiration, it's important. Now, your opponents, including Coach Doc Holliday, who's coming in on Saturday, they have to be confused mm -hmm. when they scout you guys. I mean, two mm -hmm. unexpected losses to mm -hmm. start the season, then you beat Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. These guys don't know what Old Dominion team they're going to be facing. Yeah, what's interesting right now, Bruce, is, is you're right. It is. It's confusing, and it's, and it's frustrating. We've played in spurts some great football. The, Clearly the best game we played is Virginia Tech. So we beat the number 13 team in the nation by two touchdowns, yet we have spurts in games where we don't play well as a team. And what I've tried to remind the players, Bruce, even, even our defense who did not play well overall in that Florida Atlanta game in the third quarter, Bruce, we give up 60 yards and zero points. So there's stretches where as a team, we're playing really good football, and we've got to find that measure of consistency. I believe we'll find it this week at home. Now, your players haven't given up. Coach, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something mm -hmm. that you haven't seen yet, but this is your quarterback, Blake right. LaRussa. Watch. No, we're not pleased with our record, and, uh, but we're also not, you know, in no way, shape, or form are we, um, you know, rolling over. Uh, we still got, you know, we still got six games left, and so we believe we can win the rest of the season. We believe we can win these six games. So, but obviously, we're just focused on this weekend. It starts this weekend. Now, we do know, Coach, that Doc mm -hmm. Holliday is concerned about your offense, and he should be because right. last week Blake threw for 390 yards, two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Travis Fulgram, 10 catches, 151 yards, mm -hmm. and uh, Keyshawn Strong, 99 yards mm -hmm. and three touchdowns. But you hear what your quarterback had to say. Is mm -hmm. that the mood in the locker room? That is, and that's inspiring to see. I hadn't seen that yet, so to see it on the show, that's Blake LaRussa, and that's the mindset – of the football team. They're just so frustrated that they can't play consistent football. We have to do a better job as a coaching staff, myself, all the coaches. We have not done a good enough job continually putting them in positions to win. But that performance, Bruce, for people that didn't get a chance to see it, 39 for 51 for 390 yards, two touchdowns. That's 76 percent completion percentage against a Florida Atlantic defense. It's got three or four NFL players, the way Fulgham played, the way Duhart played, uh, Isaiah Harper with eight catches. You mentioned Keyson Strong. That was so important, Bruce, to get that second 
running back. He also had six catches for 50 yards and a touchdown. So I believe we're really starting to hit our stride on offense. We've got to start to do that on defense. And Blake has that mindset. He mm -hmm. just said he thinks you all can run the table mm -hmm. and turn the season around. Yeah, particularly when as confusing it is to everybody, me included, to be one and five with a win over the number 13 team, that shows that we can play that caliber of football. Now it's got to become a consistent mindset and performance. Which unfortunately leads us to the defense. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, mm -hmm. they didn't play very well last week. And no matter how many points your offense scores, right. if the other team scores just one more point, mm -hmm. Yeah, we've made adjustments this week, Bruce, going into this week that I believe will make us better on defense. And, and the frustrating part of it, as I mentioned before, we have a third quarter where we only allow 60 yards, we only allowed four first downs, and no points in that quarter. We're, we're meshing on offense and defense, and then the other three quarters were completely inconsistent. So it's about becoming more consistent. We've got to perform at a higher level, and we need to coach them better. All right, when we come back, Pat Toll is not somebody that you want to line up against, but Brian Parsons had no choice facing the big guy this week in the one-minute drill. You'll see it next on the Old Dominion Football Show. Welcome back to the Old Dominion Football Show, the One Minute Drill. I'm Brian Parsons, and we are joined by fifth-year senior defensive lineman Pat Toll from New Jersey. Pat, welcome. Thank you, thank you. You're from, you say you're from Central Jersey. So who are your professional team allegiances to? Um, I got to go with the Jets, uh, Mets, and the Rangers. Have you ever scored a touchdown in your football career, high school, middle school, whatever? Yeah, I have uh, freshman year, we were getting beat up by a team really bad. And we were finally on the goal line, our running backs just couldn't get it in. So they put me back there, handed me the ball, and I just ran that thing right in. Do you still have the ball? Uh, yeah, I do actually, yeah. <laughs> okay, fifth year senior, so this is it for you. you. You've seen a lot, so what is your degree in? What, what, what are you gonna make, what's your major? Criminal justice, and I'm going for my second degree in uh, sociology. Do you have any like guilty pleasures on Netflix or anything like that? Something that you binge watch that you might not want the guys to know about? I don't know. I used to like Gossip Girl and uh, Sisterhood of Traveling Pants. That was a good one, too. I like that a lot. No judgment, man. No <laughs> judgment. Okay, who is the biggest prankster on the team when you guys are on these crazy road trips? Might be me, honestly. I do I do a lot of bad things to do. <laughs> Not bad things, you know. I like to play around a lot. What's uh, what's what's one of the ways you pranked some of the guys? You know, if we got to go to a meeting or something like that, you hide their playbook and they're scrambling around the room. They don't know where it is. You know, it's right under their bed. Time's up for the one-minute drill this week. Pat Toll, you have passed. Say goodbye to the Monarch Nation. All right, thank you. See you guys later. Coach Pat, the prankster. He's <laughs> one of those players that seems to get better every year. He is, and he's clearly the prankster, one of the top personalities that I've ever been around in coaching. Criminal justice major, has done really well, Bruce. He's battled through a lot of injuries in his career. Even this season, he's battling through injuries, but he's somebody that um, you just enjoy being around as a coach. He's a good person. Uh, he got a bright future in front of him. I'll tell you what, not a guy I'd want to line up against. No, definitely not. Big game against Marshall <laughs> coming up. We'll be right back. Bruce Rader back with Coach Bobby Wilder. And while your defense has struggled, one person that has a defensive end, O'Shane Zimenez, continues mm -hmm. his incredible season with seven and a half sacks and mm -hmm. in six games. And get this, Coach, you probably know this, of course, but over the last two years against Marshall, just against Marshall, mm -hmm. three sacks, seven tackles, mm -hmm. four of those for loss. You know Coach Doc Holliday is keeping an eye on him. Outstanding research by you and Brian Parsons on that one. There, there's no question, Bruce, that Marshall's aware of him. But also through six games, as you mentioned, his numbers, that's just through six games. That's a season for a lot of really good defensive linemen in terms of sacks and TFLs. He's one of the top players in the nation right now at his position, and he's been very impactful. What we haven't had, Bruce, is the consistency with the rest of the defensive line in terms of sacks and TFLs. So a lot of times he's double teamed as well. He's playing at such a high level. He's a captain. He's a leader. He's a great person, and he's earning everything he's getting right now. Is this guy playing on Sundays in the future? He's definitely playing on Sundays. He's going to be fun to watch. All right. Still, six games to go. Mm -hmm. What are you preaching to your guys every day? 
Well, the number one thing, Bruce, is, is come to work with a great attitude and let's get better. It's too often in this day and age, in this world, that people will give up when they're faced with some adversity. And what we keep telling our guys, similar to what we did last year when we got on a run and won three straight games towards the end of the year, is adversity defines your character. Good things happen to good people. So if you show up every day with the right attitude, you want to work, you want to get better, and you just focus on the process of winning. That's plan, prepare, and execute every day. That good things are going to happen, and I'm firmly in belief that with this football team, good things are going to happen moving forward. All right, Coach. Well, you know the parking lot's going to be full. They're going to pack the stadium. Let's do it. The fans haven't <laughs> given up, and neither has the team. Old Dominion against Marshall, 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Don Slater says the storm will be long gone by then. Thank you, Don. You can join us every Wednesday night here on the Old Dominion Football Show. Have a great night, everybody.